Hello, how you doing, man? I'm Hamish. Uh, if you face time, make sure to subscribe and share to a lot of people. And I want to say thanks again for all the people donated to me. You know, you know, it's more it's one dollar, two dollar, five dollar, two hundred dollar. You know what I'm saying? Even if you want to donate one million dollar too, I want to say thanks a lot, man. You might think one dollar too small for you on a monthly basis, but for me, it's a lot. Go and join Patreon page, follow me on all social media because sometimes, you know. I don't post everything here, so I'll try to follow me on social media. Let's get started. So the fifth question say, countrywide travel had a daily sales of this one right here, which is uh, 24635. This is for Monday, so they also say this is Tuesday also. So uh, the price of 2, 3, Wednesday, and Friday to Saturday. In order to be more competitive in the market, oh, so the manager decided that, or he said that, oh, you know what, we're going to have to increase each day sales by 2% because, you know what, maybe we sell, but it's not too much, so we have to increase by 2% in the coming week. Okay, and then, so, if each day sales increase by 20%, oh, so each day means out of all these days from Monday to Saturday to Friday, whatever, is going to increase by for the next week, right? So they say for each one. Oh, so we have to increase each one by 2%. And then what do they want us to do? They say uh, the main daily sales of the coming week will be. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, first of all, we have to find the increase the percentage of each. Or uh, let me find the mean of all of them together. And then after the final answer, because remember, all of them they're going to be increasing by the same percent if they were increased with a different percent and then i could have uh, uh calculate each one separately based on increase of percent of each day but since all of them they're going to increase with the same rate of two percent so let me find the total mean and then finally let's go so now we're going to say okay this is very easy man you know what i'm saying so i'm going to show you two ways okay the first one we without calculator and then you're gonna find with a calculator so I'm gonna say mean so this is represent mean mean equal to summation of all those data you know what I'm saying and then whereby those data start from one but for this case they're seven all right uh, seven days a week so I'm gonna say to n but our n equal to seven and then we over summation of the frequency you know what I'm saying so what does that mean means add all those ones so I'm gonna say mean equal let's add all of them okay so the first one we know is uh three four six three five so three four three uh three four two four excuse me two four six three five so we add for the second one what is the second one two three two three two three uh six five five so two three two three six five Third one two three five zero six okay two five uh two three excuse me two three five zero six oh two three two three two three five zero six and now we plus the next one the next one two two eighty seven two two eighty seven two two eighty seven so two two eighty seven two two eighty seven zero okay but we're not done here so we must add this one to scratch okay okay now we go for the fourth one for the fourth one two four okay two four uh two four three zero nine two four three zero nine so two four three zero nine so two four uh two four three zero nine and the last one two five four seven five okay two five three okay two five and then four seven five all of these divide by the sum of uh, some of the all of them the number of uh, frequency what is the frequency how many of them them there one two three four five six you know what i'm saying so there's six so so we're going to divide by six so if you plug in the calculator this is going to give you two four two four zero seven five so this is the mean, okay, of this week, you know, because there was no yet increase in percentage, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm going to have to calculate it, okay, the increasing percentage, okay? And I increase percent because this is like the mean for this week, this week. 
So for the next, we can remember it's going to be increased by same. So I'm going to say, oh, so the mean, let me call this mean and mean next week. So first and foremost, let me find the 20% of this, 2%. So I'm going to say, oh, 2% means 2% of this amount, which is 24075. Oh, 24075. So 24075. And when you plug this in the calculator, this is going to give you, uh, uh, if you plug this in the calculator, or in, okay, take a calculator, take my calculator, please. So I'm going to say, okay, so I'll see. Excuse me, 2 shifting, uh, percent, percent times, 2 shift percent times, times, uh, times 2, 4. Uh, zero seven five okay and this gonna give me uh four eighty one point five four eighty one point five oh okay so two percent is gonna be four eighty one point five oh so each of each of uh each day we're gonna increase by this percent you know what I'm saying so for the total of all these days because remember this is mean of all the next week so this is the mean of increase of all those days of the next week. So I'm going to take this uh, by the mean of this next week, next week. Okay. So then I'll say okay, 2. So mean of the next week, mean of the next week equal to 2, 4, 0, 7, 5. And then we add by 4, 1 point 5. And now what mean next week equal, if you plug that in the calculator, this is going to give me a, uh, okay, just a second. Two four zero two four zero seven five. Okay, so this is gonna give me uh two four. So this is gonna give me two four two four two four two four five five six point five. Okay, so this is what's gonna give me. Okay, so this is gonna be my answer. Okay, so now for the next week, the mean or average mean. That's what we're going to get. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and it's going to be the option one. So if you go to the option from the question, you know what I'm saying? Look, man, I believe in learning from how to do things. If it's time, make sure you subscribe and you know, you can just go and do donation to our Patreon page. I have a Patreon, I have a GoFundMe. You know what I'm saying? I have all the means of donation because to make this project going, you know, any type of donation, the little that you think is too small for you, it could make a lot of change and thanks a lot for all your time you know subscribe don't forget share this video circulate to a lot of people you know because the meaning of this project program is to help as many as we can okay it's not only for one patient or two because you might think it's not helpful for you but for somebody next out there it could be very very helpful so thanks a lot of man and you know any donation that you did to me it means so much i appreciate man it means a lot go to our patreon page Go to our uh, go find me because we need to have a you know a lot of things we need to put them together like camera you know and a lot of equipment so that we can improve on you know a lot of angle a lot of aspect of these projects you know thanks a lot man I appreciate it and I love you peace and love bye you know this is one of my children of knowledge you know she wanted to introduce herself what's your name could you please introduce yourself my name is Kamri yeah. Yeah, Toronto with bunch. Toronto with bunch. Toronto with bunch is everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is my other son. His name, what's your name? Matthew. Matthew, yeah, he's a eleven man. So his aim is to score distinction, right? So you promise, I want you to score distinction this time. And what's your name? Joshua. Joshua, well, how much you promise me to score this time? Distinction. <laughs> distinction. <laughs> yeah, so Toronto with bunch is everywhere, man. Toronto with bunch. Everywhere. Uh huh. Toronto with bunch everywhere. Everywhere. Huh? John exactly. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. If you had to give advice, man, which advice would you give uh, to the people? Oh, trust Amish. <laughs> why, why would it trust me? No, because it's really good. They actually has helped a lot. Uh, first, and I redid first year for maths with my own fault, but also I didn't know a lot of the work. 
and Hamish said lots of hard questions and it's it's demotivating sometimes to do the harder stuff, you like, just want to get done, but it's the hard stuff that makes you realize the easy stuff is easy. Oh, oh, oh. 